I'm Sam. And I'm Greg. We're, We're human, human beings. beings. And, and we, we like, like movies. movies. We'll be doing reviews of brand new releases. Old classics. Entire sagas. And even TV shows and video games. This, this is Reaction Time. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the second annual Something Awards. <laughs> this, you guys, welcome to the award show yes. that you care about. Yes. Where there's no, there's no political slander. There's no, no fake awards. This is real awards from real people who watched about 2% of the movies that came out this year. <laughs> Um, <laughs> maybe three percent. Three percent. Let's give ourselves three. We watched, I would say, most of the big ones. Yes, we missed some towards the end. Yes, but guess what? If we didn't see them, they don't count. No, they don't count. <laughs> they were nothing. They were nothing to us. <laughs> People are gonna be like, "Yeah, but you didn't see this. So you know how to just talk about it." Well, guess what? I don't care. The only one they're probably gonna say that about is Godzilla minus one. Maybe. And yeah. I want to see that so bad. So this is not the Golden Globes. This is not the Oscar Meyer Wieners. This is not the the Emmys. It's the Emmys. This the, is not the, the award show where I'm just Ken wins best music. Yeah, no. This is <laughs> real opinions from real people. And we have ties. And so we have we're ties. Official. We're, yeah, today, I mean, this is a very formal <laughs> event that is going on. I unzip um, my jacket for this. <laughs> <laughs> sounds less formal. <laughs> Craig's suit jacket is a hoodie with a zipper. Um... I'm, I mean, I'm stoked to talk about this. I'm so excited. We will be going over things like funniest movie, mm -hmm. best movie we watched at all this whole year, whether it was new yeah. or not. We'll be going over the worst TV movie of the year, the best movie of the year, TV shows, yeah. good and bad, all sorts of different stuff. Oh, yeah. This is, I mean, this is this is a doozy. This, this is, is a doozy. A good yeah. one. Last year was a, a beautiful episode and it so was. successful. <laughs> this year, even better. We watched... I don't even know how many more movies this year. Oh, I watched more re releases, and I watched way more movies this year. Yeah, and at so, least new releases. How many? How many new releases do you think you saw this year? Did you count them up? <sighs> Crap, I think it was like eighteen. Okay, so we watched a similar amount. Yeah, I have twenty written down. I feel like I've missed some. I might have that we just some. didn't talk about. Like the last one I could think of was we watched Family Switch. Which is like a Christmas oh, movie with Ed Helms. And right. Was that any good? No. Okay. That movie was bad. It was bad, bad. Was that like a, like a um, Freaky Friday? Yes. Yeah. It was like Freaky. It's funny because they mention Freaky Friday. Oh my gosh. They make a really funny joke where they mention Freaky Friday and then two other movies that are basically the same with like people switching bodies. Oh, okay. And it's really funny. Like Parent Trap. Yeah. It's something like that. Mm -hmm. I can't remember, but. Anyway, you can't we, really you can't really do a movie that's not a classic like Freaky Friday. I know. The movie's so good. Yeah. <laughs> we should jump into this. Yes, let's do it. All right, you guys. This is awards. Um I guess maybe a really, really light spoiler warning. Yeah. Kind of. But we're not gonna jump too deep into anything. If we do, we'll um, let you know. Yeah. That's what we did last we'll year. We'll try to keep it at 30 seconds so you can just hit your 30 second skip button and jump past it but there's no guarantees there so be careful but probably nothing crazy um so did you watch a lot of tv shows this year you know i don't really know okay i can't remember because i <laughs> i here's the thing i'm always watching a tv show right? right right usually not by myself i'm usually watching one with courtney right this year most of my year was friends yes and i'm also super close to done with better call Saul. i'm on <sighs> season six episode five I made some progress over the last few nights. You're on season six. Oh, I'm I'm in season six. Holy and, crap, bro! Lalo's nuts. Um, <laughs> and I are mean, you just hooked now? I'm. Oh, I've been hooked for a minute. Uh, you know, friends. We watched. We're we're watching upload again right now, trying to get to the third I season. I still haven't seen that. It's great. Okay, I've heard it's good. But we're, we're trying to refresh ourselves before we watch the third season. So Courtney watched one of the greatest shows of all time. Got more girls. Girl. She's watching Gossip Girl right now. That's not the greatest. So one. I mean, I watched like the all of the new Marvel and Star Wars shows this year. I did too, except, did for, Mandalorian except for Mandalorian season, season three, three, which yeah. that's fine. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's been a decent year of watching movies. 
my TV shows have been very different. Really? Yeah. Mine have been Thousand Pound Sisters, Thousand Pound Best Friends. Okay. <laughs> Craig's really into the... My 600 Pound Life. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. What? <laughs> okay. Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> the opposite. The opposite. Oh, uh, Yeah. The Deadliest Catch. Yeah, obviously. Gotta watch the to. crab shows. Got to. Yeah. It just, you know, whatever Lindsay's watching. Yeah. And then we started watching The Bear. Okay. Have you heard of that? No. Okay. Wait, maybe, but I don't. You might have seen TikToks of it. Okay. Of, I can't remember his name. All I know him is Lip from Shameless, but you haven't seen Shameless. But he's, he's like a cook and he's like screaming at somebody. Oh. And they always like put the his voice over on the TikToks and stuff. Oh, interesting. Yeah. No, I don't know what that is. First two episodes has been very anxiety-inducing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sounds nice. Yeah. Sounds like a nice calming show before yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> um, well, should we jump into awards? Let's do it. We're going to start on TV shows. Yes. Uh, you know, give some, some feedback on TV shows, and then we're going to jump into movies. And we're going to go after it. Dude, what is your worst, worst, horrible, most terrible TV show you there watched There were some bad year? ones this year, but, but it, the worst TV show I ever watched in my whole life was Secret Invasion. Yes, that is mine. Is that yours? <laughs> Bro, can a show be any worse? I, Dude. <laughs> Talk about a show that did not know where where it was going and no. then ended. Talk about a show where we recorded it and as we were recording it, I'm like, you know what? I hate this show. More and more got so angry. <laughs> we did a we did a really a quick recap of season one and two in an episode. Or sorry, episode one and, one two, and two in one yeah. of our episodes. And we were like, you know what? Like this it's intriguing. Good. It could yeah. go somewhere. Who's a scroll? I don't yeah. know. Turns out everybody was a scroll. Everybody was a bad guy, and everybody sucked at acting. <laughs> and the story was horrible. The and, CGI was And then it was trash. over and it made me want to die. So yeah, worst TV show for sure. Uh Ugh. horrible. So congratulations, Secret Invasion. You are the worst. Question. Yeah. Worse than She Hulk. Oh, they're so bad for so different reasons. Uh mm, no. Okay. She Hulk's worst. It's still number. The still the bottom. She Hulk had Daredevil though. Like one quick redeeming quality of, was the cool Daredevil episode. Like like Netflix Daredevil. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Oh. Pretty cool for like a part of an episode, and then they sleep together, so that's weird. But um, yeah. Is that canon? It is now, bro. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> uh that's what Echo's about. Their child. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Um, I watched the first ten minutes of that. <laughs> oh, how is it so far? It's something. Yeah, I, you don't know. <laughs> bunch of naked people. You're not like, into it. Yet. Drinking some water. An echo. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was like, wait, what? An echo? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. You know what? Let's get into the best. Hold on. I have some honorable mentions. Okay. Okay. For worst. For worst. Okay. Go. Thousand Pound Sisters. <laughs> <laughs> is that like the new season or what? Yes, the whole okay. show. Oh, the whole show, okay. <laughs> Basically, it's these two sisters that equal to a thousand pounds, okay? Oh, they're not each a thousand pounds. They're not each. Thank no, goodness. they Thank wouldn't goodness. be alive. I, Maybe. I don't know. I think the most anybody's weight is like barely over a thousand, but. And their IQ is not great. I feel like I've seen clips from this. Oh, and you've probably seen one that's like blown up. The one with the water. With, yeah. <laughs> where she thinks she's pregnant because she's craving yeah, things she's, she's never craved before. She's like water. She's like, like water. Oh, the doctor man. just stares at her is like, yeah. That's a, spe <laughs> that's a special kind of dumb. I love it. Second honorable mention, Grey's Anatomy. Really bad? Some of the worst acting how I've deep, ever seen How in my deep into life. it are you? I haven't watched it for a while. Okay. But... And I didn't consistently watch it. My wife did. I would say I got most of the episodes through season five. Not all the episodes, okay. but just a good amount. And then, like, I've seen a handful of episodes up until, like, I think she's on, like, season 11. Okay. But she stopped. Because somebody she knows somebody's going to die and she doesn't want to watch anymore. Mm, that makes sense. So... 
Okay. But the acting is just awful. Just bad. Awful. Yeah. Any more? That's, That's it. it. Okay, Craig. What is your best TV show of 2020? The Last of Us. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Cool, I cool, loved cool. that you show. You loved that show. I loved that show. I forgot about that show. Yeah, I kind of did too. Thank goodness. <laughs> and then I was going through and I'm like, oh, The Last of Us. I the Last of show. Us was like a dream you thought was good and then you wake up and you realize it was a snooze fest. <laughs> <laughs> That's what The Last of Us is to me. But congratulations to The yeah. Last of Us for winning great favorite TV show. It was what... It was almost everything that I wanted. That's good. I wanted more clickers. As the as the game as a fan of the game. Yes. As a cool. fan of the game, it was done very, very well. I'm glad it did justice for you. Yeah, it did. What's yours? My best TV show of 2023 is Loki season two. Okay. That's my honorable mention. Yeah. Uh, it was so good. What a good follow-up season. Yeah. And what a way to come back, Marvel, from and what a way to end. The depths of hell. And what a way to end. I mean, <laughs> like the setting up and the ending of Loki. It, like kind of as a character, spoilers, kind of. I mean, not. I don't know. Nobody knows. Nothing's ever over. He didn't. <laughs> spoilers. He's not dead. I don't know. Well, he is. This not, is getting out of hand quickly. I'm dead. sorry for the spoilers, <laughs> but I can't go back and say no spoilers. Uh, well, I could, but I'm not going to. Yeah. Um. We said we'd let him know. Yeah. We never said we'd let you know before it happened. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, great, great season. Yeah. Fantastic season. Yeah, really good. Which um, just. How do they make Ant Man? And then how it's do they bizarre. make Loki season two? The, the or, or even Secret Invasion. The inconsistency in Marvel is shocking. It's shocking. It is so shocking. Because mm. my literally my worst TV show of all the TV shows and best both Marvel. Yeah. Which is <laughs> that's crazy. It that shouldn't happen. happen. No, that shouldn't oh, happen. That's so weird. Do you have any other honorable mentions? No. Okay. That was it. I don't. I don't either. So there were other good TV shows, but nothing exciting. Okay. Craig, what was your favorite episode of television that you watched this year? So, my favorite episode is going to be episode five of The Last of Us. Mm. That's the one with the big guy comes out. Oh, and they have, dude. Like, the massive, that was a great such a good episode. episode. That one was so good. Oh, and you man. got the little kid that gets bit and, and that whole, like, <laughs> dramatic thing at the end. That, that episode, really, honestly, that and the first episode mm-hmm. or the first half of... The first episode? Yeah. So, so good. good. Honestly, like, if I had to pick up uh, my favorite 20 minutes of TV of this year, it'd be the first 20 minutes of the first episode right, of right. Last of Us. That was, I want I want a whole movie oh. of that. It yes. so good. <laughs> um, Maybe so, we'll so get good. more of that in season two. I hope so. We'll see. I really hope so. Yeah. Um, what is yours? I think I know what it is. My favorite episode of television of all time goes to Ahsoka episode five. Yeah. Uh, The back half of it's like, whatever, it just kind of ends weird. But the first half (sighs) is a love letter to me as a nine-year-old. Even me. And I can't, I could not be happier about it. So good. It's just like incredibly fan service-y, but in the right way. Oh, yeah. Not in a pandering or condescending way. It's so good. Oh. No, and not nostalgia just to make nostalgia. Yeah, for sure. Um, Yeah, I mean, oh, man. (laughs) The whole show was good. Yeah. Not like the best thing ever. They had a lot of things that I could have lived without. But I am excited about the future that it sets up and I'm glad Hayden's out there getting his bags again. So it had the it had the best five seconds of all cinema of all time. When he walks out. When he walks out and flashes to Darth Vader. Yeah. The coolest thing ever created. Yeah. I mean uh, And not even a huge Star yeah, Wars. That fan, was, and that's like the coolest like thing. Like if ever we created. can pick if we can pick <laughs> um like scenes of a show. <laughs> I mean, freaking that five seconds right there, the you know, the 20 minutes of The Last of Us, the scene in episode five of The Last of Us with all the clickers, mm-hmm. just... just The ending of Loki season two. There's been moments of everything that are so cool. Oh, so good. And I just love it. It's been amazing. I just love it. And there's been things that have been bad, like Victor, whatever his butts is, and Loki season two. But easy to forget about him. Victor. Victor Timely. Oh, I, yeah. I, I have a, oh. stu- a stu- stutter. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm actually really glad that Jonathan Majors is now out. Yeah. Yeah. Is it official? Yes. 
That's they great. have officially fired him. That's great. So because I think really, really I think good. his I think his court thing like went through or something and he was found guilty or I oh, can't remember the okay. whole thing. I'll have to look into that. I kind of forgot about that whole yeah. deal, but yeah. Okay. Anything so that's, else for TV shows? I don't think so. Okay. I mean, I would I would recommend that people go watch Upload. Um, the third season did come out in October, and I had no idea. And if it's anything like the two, the first two seasons, it's gonna be really fun. Yeah, it's a great. It's a freaking sci-fi dramedy. I don't know what else you could ask for. Wow, it's great. That's a lot of genres. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Mm. It's a futuristic sci-fi dramedy, and it's wonderful. If I could recommend anything, it would still be Better Call Saul. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, watch that. <laughs> Holy cow, that show! It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> It makes me want to be bad. And, <laughs> and it, I have a confession. I think I'm in love with Kim Wexler. Oh my gosh. She is amazing. <laughs> so she starts out not my favorite. No. And she gets so, she it's gets like season so, five. Yeah. She gets so good. Anyway, we don't, we'll do a, we'll review this. We in will 100% depth review this. When I'm this. done, which should probably be like, honestly, in the next, probably this week. Oh yeah. Like we honestly might be able to record it next week. You basically went through two seasons in like oh, so a fast. few days. Because I'm sitting around watching it, waiting for you to come, and you don't come over. And I'm just like, okay, I'll just keep watching. I just keep watching. So it's all good. Um, yeah, I went through a season and a half in like less than a week. Oh, yeah. I think it was yeah. pretty quick. Okay, so that's TV shows. Okay. Here's what you guys are here for. The movies. movies. The, movie the movies. Awards. This is why we wore the tie today. Not let the me, TV shows. Let me just list off some of, the, some of the movies that came out this year that you guys may have heard of. Okay. Uh, the Super Mario Bros. movie. Oh, yeah. Came out this year. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Barbenheimer. Barbie came out this year. What's that? John Wick Chapter 4. What? What's Barbie? I don't, I don't know. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Um, maybe <laughs> a little off. movie called Rebel Moon. <gasps> um, <laughs> Still didn't see. <laughs> maybe a little movie called Spider-Verse? Across the Spider-Verse. <gasps> the Flash. It was a joke. Uh, I mean, Mission Impossible 7, Seven Part 1. The Creator? The Creator. I mean, you guys. Dude. Some movies. Napoleon, which we didn't see. I know, I want to see that. But whatever. Yeah, it's okay. And a lot, I mean, the Hunger the Games. Songbirds of see. Singbirds of Sneakles and, and Bakes. <laughs> um, I also forgot to write down, uh, what was that movie? Here's another movie that I saw, which was called... Oh, no, that was January. Never mind. Oh. I did watch... Um, January of this Self Reliance. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's different. I so, still haven't seen that. But I'm let's start it. with non twenty twenty three movies, real quick. Okay. Unless yours is a twenty twenty three movie. Just but, a favorite movie you watch. Yeah. Mo so first, this is your most pleasant surprise. Okay. Of of the movies that we've reviewed. Okay. This year, if you haven't listened to all of our episodes. Do that right now. Just go do that real quick. There's <laughs> only 50 of them. They average around an hour, so it's only going to take you like three or four days Yeah, if you listen nonstop. Which um, you should do. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. take a yeah, couple yeah. days off. Yeah. So, Craig, this is going to be interesting for me because you, and, and maybe yours will be different, but you saw most of the movies. You had seen most of the movies mm -hmm. that we did this year before this. Right. Is this going to be something that pleasantly surprised you that you hadn't seen? Yes. Okay, Craig, what was your most pleasant surprise of 2020? The Creator. Wow. Yeah. So it is a new movie. It is a new movie. Okay, why Why the Creator? I. It was just something totally new. Yeah. Right? I mean, obviously there was takes on other stories, and you have to do that to make any mm. kind of new IP, but you think of all of the movies that we watched, and they were either a sequel or based off of something or— Barbie, Oppenheimer. I didn't I mean, even realize that, that kind of stuff. Completely true. Even Spider Man is based off of comics in a yeah. way, right? The only other ones that I can really think of um, that are similar: Rebel Moon, not based off of anything. Right. Renfield, very lightly based off of something. Yes. But then, yeah, everything else, yeah, is a sequel. Uh, almost everything's a sequel. Almost or, everything's or a really sequel. super based off of a video game or yeah. a, a pre existing IP. So yeah. that's true. So yeah. it was just. It was fun. It was a good movie. The freaking CGI was out oh, of this world. Incredible. For how much they spent on it. So, and I watched it again, and I really enjoyed it again. You did watch it again? Yeah. When did you watch it? So, Lindsay's dad was in town, and he hadn't seen it. And oh, okay. so, it was on Hulu. Yeah. Oh, and so, it's on yeah, Hulu? Yeah, it's just streaming on Hulu now. 
So. You guys, man, if I can, well, I'll talk about it later. But the creator, man, it's that that movie's a doozy. Yeah, it was fun. It's fun. It's a fun movie. So, yeah. what was your cool. most pleasant surprise? My most pleasant surprise of 2023 was Annihilation. Yes, my. I'm I have, surprised you didn't say Chronicle. Oh, I loved Chronicle. I kind of <laughs> forgot about that. that. I love them both, but Annihilation does beat it out. Okay. Uh, this is this is the best way I can explain it at this point. Um, I have been forced to forget information because there's now a section of my brain <laughs> that is only Annihilation. So anything that was, like, I have a 256 gig brain, right? But Obviously. 40 gigs is Annihilation. So I used to have 256 gigs <laughs> for information, right? Right. Now have I have 216 gigs right. for information and I have 40 for Annihilation. It's just there. That and I can't so get rid of it. That makes so much sense. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. And the more I think about it, I think it's it's growing. So it might be past that. I haven't gotten my brain <laughs> scanned in a minute. But Annihilation, Annihilation just keeps ticking I up. I just think about it all the time. It's so good. It's so good. I, I remember ending that movie and being more stunned and shocked and confused and excited than I maybe have ever been after a movie. Mm. It did something to me physically. Wow. Like, Whoa. Yeah. So, yeah. Annihilation. Okay. Phenomenal. Do you have any honorable mentions? Chronicle. Okay. I mean, what a low-budget, freaking phenomenal film based off of nothing. Yeah. So good. I'd um, say Bullet Train. Bullet Train was great. I loved Bullet Train. Bullet Train was great. <laughs> uh, I really liked The Impossible. Yes. Which hurt me so badly, which we watched about a year ago, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was like January. one of our first. That was the, right after the Something Awards last year. Yeah. Um, I'm yeah. glad I've been able to introduce you into some really m movies that you've really enjoyed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But dude, yeah. I mean, Zombieland, which is like still <laughs> kind of back and forth in my brain, but Game night. overall phenomenal. Game Night? Nobody? <laughs> I mean, Parasite? Are you kidding me? The Wedding Singer? Which was fine. I mean, this guy has some really scene, funny though. parts. but <laughs> The meatball. The, the freaking meatball, bro. Anyway, I mean, we watched some great movies we this year. Great movies. So, yeah. Do you have any honorable mentions? No. Okay. Bullet Train. Okay. That was that was definitely my honor to mention. Yeah. So. All right. So, do you want to stick with movies we haven't seen and go to our favorite movie? Um. Or do you want to yeah. like like favorite movie we saw this year, not like our favorite movie of twenty twenty three? Mine's probably the same, but okay. I'll let you. I have a favorite movie of twenty twenty three. No wait. Oh wait. No, you're right. Sorry. Yes, let's do that. Okay. <laughs> There's a long explanation for me to say yes, let's do that. Not the favorite movie. All just right. The favorite movie you watched this year. Okay, what's your favorite movie you watched? Parasite. This year? Oh, Parasite. What a goodie. It was so good. That's a good movie. It was such a good movie. And it was a fun episode, too. It was a fun episode. I, get, I have gotten several compliments about that episode from different people who are like, I love how you like broke down the whole movie scene by scene. I'm like, there's no other way you can talk about that movie. No. Which it's, makes me think, do, do we, it. should we, because that's my only thing. Sometimes when we're like explaining our notes, unless somebody's seen it, they are just blind we to would what have we're talking to, about. Yeah, I mean, we'd have to figure out how to summarize a movie probably quicker than we did Parasite. Parasite was easy because of the flow of it. Yeah, I don't know. True. We could try it out, but mm. Parasite was great. Yeah, it was really good. What's your favorite? My favorite movie that I watched this year, honestly, was probably Bullet Train. Nice. That movie. It's so much fun. It's so fun. That's all, I mean, that's the, the best word for it is fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, would you, did you like that one more than Nobody? Probably overall. If okay. I had to just, like, choose, yes. Okay. I think I liked it more. Yeah. Nobody's a better action film. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Bullet Train but Bullet Train's just more, a blast. It's more fun. It's so much fun. But Nobody's great. <laughs> nobody's a super... Like, it's a really underrated, not even underrated, just unseen. Like, yeah. people don't know about it, and it's so no. good. It's so good. Mm. All right, are we jumping into 2023 now? Let's jump into 2023. All right, you guys, all of our movies here are going to be new releases Yeah. of 2023. And, Except uh, for one, so, for me. That's confusing, but let's do this. <laughs> all right, let's start with with uh, the the category that has been getting slimmer and slimmer as the years go on. Mm. Craig, what was your favorite? The, what was the best? 
superhero movie this week? Guardians 3. Bro, what? Yeah. Craig picked Guardians 3 over Spider-Verse. Yeah. Cool. For this cool Go- thing. Tell me. <laughs> tell me. That's incredible. <laughs> I picked it for this category because Spider-Verse is somewhere else. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. So... I, I guess I would say if I were to pick best superhero movie, my favorite one, it probably would be Spider Verse. Okay, but for this one, Guardians Three was so it's good, so good, and it was I love the backstory that yeah. they put in there. It was heartbreaking and horrible, and dude, we got a first f bomb in a Marvel movie, uh, yeah, and it was fantastic. It was fantastic. <laughs> it was so. <laughs> Aptly placed. I love it. Put your finger on the button. Then what? Open the, the freaking door. door. <laughs> so good. Oh, I love it. Yeah, dude, Guardians 3. Guardians 3. What was your favorite, your best superhero movie? My best superhero movie of 2023 is a tie. I was unable to pick between Spider-Verse and Guardians 3. Okay. I really was an- unable because they're so different. Oh, yeah. I went back and forth. For so long in my brain. Really? I really did. Really? Initially, yeah. when I first thought, I was like Guardians 3. And then I was looking through my list and I was like, oh, I forgot about <laughs> Spider-Verse. Even though I, I did just watch Spider-Verse probably two or three months, maybe two I've months ago. I've seen it almost four times now. And it's so good. So good. But it's di- it's different than Guardians. Oh, it's way different than Guardians. Guardians is more, um, it's more my speed because I do prefer live action superhero movies right, right, to right. animated. Not that there's a ton of animated superhero movies. Um, but it's really hard. I think I would give the edge to Guardians. Okay. Because I feel it more. I, when I, I can watch understand it than that. Spider-verse. Yeah, yeah. But equally phenomenal movies. Oh, yeah. Spider Verse, if you want to look at, like, even that, I mean, I was going to say technically, maybe Spider Verse is I better. I would say Spider Verse is probably better. Yeah. But Guardians 3 was so good. It's good. And it, and it was. And maybe it was because of Marvel's bad record at that time, but it was shocking. <laughs> it was good, a right? breath of fresh it air. It had the shock factor of like, oh my gosh, this Marvel is like knows another what to do again. banger movie. So, <laughs> so it's a tie. Sorry. Okay. okay. All right. That's fine. It's, it's a tie. A- Bro. <laughs> oh, so good. We'll be here all week. <laughs> okay. Not really. Craig. Just once a week. What was the funniest movie you watched? Dude, Mission this? Impossible 7 Part 1. Wow, was my really? That's not where movie. I saw that one going. Oh, dude. For the was car scene funny. alone, I have not laughed more in a theater in wow. I don't know how long. But the freaking little mini car was the funniest thing of all time. It was... It was great. It was I mean, incredible. That was a funny movie. <laughs> Just like spinning around and everything. It was funny when it didn't need to be, but oh, it worked. Yeah. It worked great. But it could have not been funny and still been great. Oh, yeah. And it just was funny. I don't know. Funniest out of all the Mission yeah. Impossibles. They not a- my favorite, but the funniest yeah. easily out of yeah. all the Mission Impossibles. That's fair. That's fair. What's going to be your funniest? Funniest movie of the year was Barbie. Okay. <laughs> like, honestly, by a long shot. I There's so much in that movie that is absolute comedy gold. Um, I mean, there's just... I, I can think of several lines that will go down in history of, of things I just love. <laughs> like, when at the end, Ken's crying and Barbie's like, it's okay to cry. He's like, yeah, I'm a liberated man. I know it's okay to cry. <laughs> and he says... Uh, I am Kenneth. I mean, when he, when he yells, he just yells sublime. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, when he says he, when he's like, when I figured out the patriarchy wasn't really about horses, I lost interest anyway. <laughs> I mean, but she's like, do you guys ever think about death? You guys ever think about it's? It's hilarious. That's pretty it's funny. So funny. It was pretty funny. It's just beach. That's his job. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you off. I'm beat you off. <laughs> beat you both off right now. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, I mean, Barbie was. It was pretty good. Freaking great. Yeah. Really, good. really close honorable mention was Renfield. Okay. I've talked about Renfield a lot with people. Since yeah, I've have seen you? It. Nobody's seen it. And I'm like, hey, you, you should probably should watch, watch this it. movie because it's great. My honorable mention would be Super Mario movie. That was a good one too. Yeah. I really enjoyed Super yeah. Super Mario was like, honestly, if I have to pick one words, like one word examples or descriptors for all of these movies, happy. I was just happy oh, when yeah. I watched that movie. Yeah, if we had a category you know? for happiest, happiest movie. Super Mario movie for sure. 100%. It just feels there. good to watch that movie. Oh, yeah. That's all it is. You're just happy. Yeah. You're just having a good time. Yeah. It's a shot of dopamine. It's great. It's so great. Mm. 
Okay. All right, Craig. What's your most underrated movie that you watched this year? By the longest shot ever. Okay, go. What? You know, you go. I was just going to explain underrated. Oh, yeah. Did that last it. year. Didn't do well at the box office. Mm-hmm. Nobody knew about it. And you just loved it. The most underrated movie of 2023 was The Creator. Okay. Why on earth did nobody watch that That's movie? That's true. Somebody please explain it to me without using the writer's strike. Um, <laughs> I do think that had a play in it, though. Oh, it had to have. Because they, didn't, they couldn't promote they couldn't it promote. much. It was a movie that so many people would have liked if they would have watched yeah. it. And I'm so bummed because I, I can almost guarantee no sequel. Oh, yeah, no. Not even, was, not even only no sequel, but the next time somebody wants to do that, oh, it's gonna be they're so going to look at the creator. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. so hard to make. Yeah, But hopefully Oppenheimer, great- though, also did change that too. Yes, it is yeah. based off of a real life story, but at the same time, that doesn't mean it's going to do well. That's true. And it almost made a billion dollars. Yeah, it was a lot. The creator was one of the best movies made this year. Yeah. Um, from a visual standpoint, it might be one of the best movies ever made. Yeah. Um, and so I just am shocked about it because it's the idea of it is so it fun and so new. Yeah. And then it was ex- executed super well. Yeah. Maybe the story wasn't perfect. F- perfect. And maybe some of the storytelling wasn't perfect, but that wasn't like distracting. No. It was super, super good. So no. if people could go watch The Creator and give it like a resurgence in a not even a cult following, but just like a normal following, that'd be great. I'd appreciate that. Mm, maybe a cult following. Maybe. Yeah. All right, Craig, what was your most underrated movie for you? Renfield. Yeah. That was my most underrated. Sure. Nobody knows about it. I mean, it was like so exclusively funny. on Peacock, right? Didn't it like come out? Oh, no, on it came Peacock? out in theaters. Did it? I think it was simultaneously hold theaters up, hold up, hold and up. in Peacock. Renfield box office twenty six million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's low. That's not even creator low because the creator did one seven one seventy. Oh wait, I never even wrote down the final. Oh no, so maybe it, it was like one seventy. Yeah. It's like one ten. Maybe it was one ten. Yeah. Um, dude, Renfield is so good. so good. If you guys want campy humor oh, and, yes. and action. And Nicolas Cage. Oh, dude, dude, watch that. And Nicolas Cage as Dracula. Dude, Nicolas oh, Cage as so Dracula good. is so funny. So good. Oh, the creator did 104. Yeah. Yikes. Boo. That's big yikes for sure. That's big yikes. All right, what's our next category? What Overrated. Got? <laughs> this one's the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. Okay, so what's your most... <laughs> Are you kidding? Bro, the most overrated movie of all time was Oppenheimer. <laughs> of all time. <laughs> Holy boring piece of garbage movie. Okay, I actually enjoyed that movie. No, so, so hard to follow. <laughs> Just lame. The, a lame, lame, lame movie. Gosh. Man, you have changed your view. I mean, I gave it an 864, which is really high I, for how I feel about I it now. I think you gave it like a 7... Almost a, almost an eight out of ten. Yeah, I mean, ugh. so <laughs> for what it was trying to accomplish, maybe it was great. But I'm gonna stand by. It made nine hundred fifty three million dollars. Yeah. I'm gonna stand by the fact that it was one of those movies that was made to be liked by the snooty. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, think of people who love Oppenheimer. They're like, oh, I know cinema. <laughs> They call movies yeah. the cinema. Like, oh, I understand it. That's all like Christopher Nolan type no. movies. They love to no, love because it because the rest of them are good. Yeah. Well, yes. Them are sucked. Yeah, the rest of them are good, but almost everybody is like that. Oh, you, you just didn't oh, you understand just didn't get it. it. You don't yeah. understand storytelling. Like, actually, I do. Storytelling should be fun. Yeah. It should be like and easy, comprehensible. To yeah. <laughs> Oppenheimer was a little bit confusing. Like, did. Robert Downey Jr. deserve an award for his performance? No. I mm, love him. And I, I think he's a great really actor. I thought he was good in that. Did he deserve an award for it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Think of some of the great performances of all time. Was his award worthy? In some instances, I think so. Okay. He just talked the whole time and never really did anything crazy. I guess at the end when he started getting more like upset Angry. and stuff. Yeah, that's like easy to do. Angry is easy. In a way. 
I don't know. Yeah. Sorry about the hot yeah. takes, folks. <laughs> At me in the comments and follow us on Twitter. Okay, X, sorry. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's my most overrated, for sure. Um, so, I actually had the hardest time with this one. Okay. Because all the movies I didn't enjoy didn't do well. Because I could put, you know, Ant-Man 3, but it wasn't really overrated because everybody hated it. It did way better than it needed to. (laughs) Ant-Man 3, how much money did that thing make? $476 million. Yeah, but for Marvel, that's kind of trash. Pretty bad. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's true. And nobody talks. It's not like anybody's like, Ant-Man 3, best Marvel movie of all time. (laughs) Nobody's ever said that in the history of ever. (laughs) So... This is the one that I didn't, that wasn't from this year. Okay. That I put as my category. Because I really couldn't find one that I watched that released this year that was like, I didn't like that other people oh, liked or sold a lot of okay. money. Because I did enjoy Oppenheimer. Okay. I, it wasn't the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life, but I wouldn't say it was overrated. Yeah. So, my most overrated movie this year... It's a movie called Hereditary. What is that? It's a scary movie. Oh. So, Susan. <laughs> so last year, I know my most overrated was a scary movie. And this year, my most overrated is another scary movie. You gotta stop watching. <laughs> they all suck, bro. <laughs> Up until the last 10 minutes of this movie, it was creepy. It was awkward it was uncomfortable and there was one scene that has made me jump more than any other movie that i have seen okay because it wasn't jump scares are made for a quick sound or somebody coming into focus or something like that right they showcase those it's much different than when if you see something scary for mm. yourself. Yeah. So there's this scene, because the camera work was so good in this movie. And there's a scene where there's this kid that's asleep, and he wakes up, and where you're sitting is his bed, okay? And the camera's here, and it's like a side shot, right? Okay. So his bed's this way, and he's just kind of like laying down like that, right? Okay. And he wakes up. Can you do that again? Yeah. <laughs> Thriller. <laughs> 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 and he wakes up, right? Because he just had this creepy dream. Yeah. And you're just, you're focused on him because he just woke up, right? And he's kind of like mm-hmm. breathing heavily and you saw what he was dreaming and everything. And you're like, okay, what the heck? And it's like super dark, right? Because it's nighttime. And in the top corner is this person that's like sp- like, like freaking, Spider-Man. like Spider-Man oh, in the corner just above his bed. But it took me probably 20 seconds, like full seconds before I even noticed oh, that. Oh, wow. And then I jumped and I was like, what the? F-? Like, That's have they been there the so whole time? Scary. And it freaked me out. And then the movie ended. <laughs> and it was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Oh, that sucks. Why do horror movies do this to me? The Barbarian was the same way. (laughs) Except that was only 40 minutes in and then it was the dumbest movie I've ever seen. This was how long in? This was was like the the last... The whole movie was super good and then the last 10 minutes they just... Oh. They just totally ruined it. It was so dumb. That sucks. Yeah. Sorry about that. So, but I know a lot of people like it and it's A24, so... Okay. That's fair. You know. They can't do horror movies for some reason. (laughs) Um. Okay. Okay. So, Craig, are we going to get into? Are we into some stuff here? The top things and the worst things. The top things and the worst things, you guys. <laughs> so we're going to start by more. Um. So what we've got going on here, you guys, is we've got a least favorite and a favorite. Yep. And then we've got a worst and a best. Yes. The least favorite and the favorite is v- very subjective. Yes. Um. And then the worst and the best, we try to be in a way as subjective as possible. Right. But also, I mean, everything is subjective anyway. Yeah. But trying to look at it a little bit more from a technical standpoint or whatever you want to right, call right, it. Right, right, right. Um, so, Craig, what was your least favorite movie that came out in 2020? Yeah, man, three. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It was so dumb. Ant-Man 3 had some, like, 
pretty good parts. Yeah. I remember some of the... Actually, The Bill sorry. Murray scene with the song. Yeah, the Bill Murray scene with the song. Incredible. Is great. And I do remember liking some of the side characters, like the really side characters, the aliens. You remember? Yeah, There were a couple that were funny. The, I can't remember anything they said. Something about holes. One about holes. Yeah. That's all I kind of remember. Yeah. And that's that's it. And then the rest that's of the movie, much. I just remember thinking, are ants really going to beat? Kang, yeah, like he and, just got did. beat, beat yeah. by ants, and then yeah. he got beat by ants. The one, the one um, guy, the oh, ma, the ma, that had the head for the the brain or whatever. He He's died. The giant body. Yeah. No. Oh no, it wasn't. A giant oh, body. I know what you're talking about. I thought you were talking about mope, mope. Mopac? Oh no! Mopu? Oh, that was Pupu? worst. Blue pack. What's his name? The head face. Mabo. Nomad. Mac. Nomad's creator. What's his name? Mock. Mock. Ock, Shalak, Mac, Mo, Mo, Modoc, Modoc. Yes, yes. <laughs> that yes. took so long. <laughs> that took way too long. <sighs> yeah, yeah. It was just, sucked. I, I, I honestly, until you said that about the aliens, I literally couldn't remember uh, anything. Like a from single that. redeeming quality other, at yeah, all. Other yeah, than the ants killing him. But that was. You know, a movie's bad. bad when your only memory of the movie is just the trailer. Yes. You know what I mean? Like when I think of Ant Man, I just think of the scene of him running and there's a million of him. And yeah, that's that, like yeah, all that's I, it. Yeah. That's all I think of. And it's yeah. like, that's not fun. Or from the trailer when it's like, care. can I get your autograph, Spider Man, or yeah. whatever? Yeah. yeah. It's, that's it. That's it. Yeah, no fun. It was dumb. Yeah. Shame on them for making yeah. that movie the way they did. Shame on and them for making that movie. Especially shame on them for not putting freaking Ant Man's friends in the movie yeah. who basically make Ant Man what it is. Well, that's why it wasn't good. Shame on them. It's not part of it. The also, the plot, the plot <laughs> was, was so dumb. Bad. <laughs> oh gosh! So, what was your least favorite? I thought long and hard about this, and I looked at a lot of my my big movie list, and there were some doozies this year. But my least favorite, honestly, was probably Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, I did not enjoy watching that movie. Yeah, even a tiny bit. Yeah, there was a really small sliver of that movie where I was starting to get intrigued, yeah. and then I became unintrigued. And do you still really like that movie a lot? No, I, I didn't. Oh, ever, you didn't like it? No. Oh, okay. Sorry. I remembered you liking it and me no. being kind of a weirdo. No, Let's see, what I did remem- you give? Oh, yeah. You gave it lower than I did, yeah. actually. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I've played and watched all the games, yeah. so I think I hated it more than you did I just, because I had so much yeah, more expectations for it. I did not have it. any fun. There's a lot of these movies that I saw this year that weren't good, but there's stuff that I remember that's like fun or memorable. And this is just I remember more about Five Nights at Freddy's than I do Ant Man, though. I do too. Yeah. Yeah. And I just, yeah, I didn't have any fun. No. Um, honorable mention was the new Peter Pan movie that came out this year. Okay. That was one of the top six most boring movies ever made. I don't know. That I just came up with. What are the other five? <laughs> FNAF. <laughs> Ant-Man of 3. all the movies you've seen, <laughs> FNAF would be in your top six. Ever. Oppenheimer. Uh, <laughs> Looper. And kiss, kiss, bang, bang. Spirited away. <laughs> kiss, kiss, bang, bang. Uh, dude, kiss, kiss, bang, bang was also. But that one has one-liners that yeah, are that still does. funny. So yeah. I don't know. Whatever. But yeah, FNAF. But yeah, P- uh, Peter Pan, definitely an honorable mention of, of just movies that were unenjoyable. Okay, so were you bored with Spirited Away or just angry? Because I don't know how you can be bored with that movie. There's so much random No, I was not on. bored, but yeah. I was mad. I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> okay, so let's jump into favorite. So this is basically, I mean, for me... This is just the movie that I liked watching the most. Yeah. Right. So, Craig, what's your favorite movie you saw this year? John Wick 4. Mmm. For that one scene alone, dude. (laughs) John Wick 4. I don't know how you don't have just so much fun watching that movie. It's also fun. That is the description. It is not a great story in any not, sense of the word. It's not super well acted, but no, it does have some but really, so really fun, fun stuff in it. it. Oh, really fun. Some of the most creative kills. Where does that land? I forgot. Where does that land on your John Wick movies? Is that one your favorite? That's my favorite. That's your favorite yeah. one. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, John Wick is great. That's so good. Do not the a- best acting out of all of them. No. But no. that scene, oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. I'm very curious. You know, this was maybe What's your favorite. This was maybe the hardest one for me to okay. pick. Okay. Okay. Um, even harder than my movie of the year. 
Oh, see, my movie of the year, I knew instantly. I did too. Okay. This is this favorite was the hardest one. I'm trying to think of like where was I having kind of the most fun. Right. And I got to give my favorite movie of the year to Mission Impossible 7. Okay. I only have fond memories of watching that movie. Okay. Especially that entire scene with the cars. Oh, so where good. Where they run up and they're like, it's like a Ferrari or something parked next to it. And you're like, oh, sick. And then it's, he's unlocks it and it's this <laughs> tiny little car next to it. And they're driving it all around. It almost looks like a toy. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's so good. And just, I mean... The, the jump off the cliff. It was great. Which w- was so cool. There was some stuff they could have done better, honestly, mm-hmm. to that. Mm-hmm. But just the fact that it was real is like a cinematic feat. Dude, Tom Cruise, like, That's man. something that's going to go down as one of the best stunts oh, in a movie of all yeah. time. Which is like all of Mission Impossible. But yeah. I just really liked it. I'm super excited for the second part. Yes. I'm very anxiously awaiting I'm it. I'm very anxiously awaiting We have awaiting. so many second parts coming in 2024. So many. Dune... Uh, Spider Verse, Spider Verse, Mission Impossible, probably something else. Uh, <laughs> just it's a lot. So many. There's three so many. So it's others. like that scene in Twilight where he's like, "You've been lying to everybody, Charlie. You can't keep doing this." <laughs> so funny. I love Twilight. Still never seen it. Oh, uh, the worst. There's one part in Twilight you're gonna love so much. <laughs> you do have to survive three movies to get to it. Uh, dude, I I'm not going to. You're not gonna watch it. No. Not even once before you die. No, no. We should watch it together. That would be horrible. We should live stream us watching oh, Twilight. Two straight dudes watch Twilight together alone. <laughs> <laughs> Most watched stream of all time. Why do you gotta add alone? <laughs> alone. With blanket and candles. With blanket and candles. <laughs> Blankets covering all hands. Secrets exist. Um, <laughs> well, so we can get the popcorn. Okay. Okay. Bro. What is, go. What is your worst? <sighs> this is the most trash movie you ever saw. Okay. I have to kind of start with an honorable mention and then okay, jump to okay, my actual okay, okay. worst. I have watched... You know what? Actually, hold on. Please pause just for a moment. If you're, <laughs> if you're you know, hanging out right now... <laughs> Please, you know, Keep hanging think out. of what, what's coming up in 2024 that you're really, really excited for, you know. Um, oh, no. I don't know my password for Max. Okay, well, I can't tell you the exact number. Oh. I believe I am somewhere around 25 minutes into The Flash. Oh. <laughs> and so far, it is one of the most <laughs> horrific things that my eyeballs have touched okay. ever in my life. So is this the honorable mention? This is my honorable mention. Okay, I feel like I can't, see, yeah, you I can. can't give it the award. It, first of all, it doesn't deserve any awards. It's so bad that it doesn't deserve an award for right, it. Right, because if you give it an award, that's something good. Yeah, it wins yeah. something. Yeah. It doesn't deserve that. It deserves... <laughs> let's think of it this way. Okay. Let's think of heaven and hell Okay. for a second. Right. Okay. And then think of where a lot of, you know, myth, uh, myth, Mytho- mythical creatures. Mythology and, and TV shows and movies also have a place called Limbo, okay? Right. Heaven's great. Hell's bad. Limbo is almost worse than hell because there is nothing. Right. That's where the Flash belongs so far, is in Limbo, is, where it does, does not it deserve to get in Inception's anything. Limbo? Uh, no, because okay. it doesn't. No, it doesn't deserve that good okay. of a life. It should just be in limbo, <laughs> a colorless blob with <laughs> nothing around. <laughs> if you guys haven't just watched the CGI baby scene, oh. if you want to know what bad movie is, oh. that's it right there. So there bad. is nothing I've ever seen in a movie that has upset me more than How watching did they that. Even release that. No, I have no idea. It had to have ended up being a joke. It was either a joke or they accidentally released like version two when the final cut was actually like 22 or something. It's horrible. When you have something that bad. Cut it. (laughs) Yeah. Because all everybody now thinks of DC is The Flash. Yeah. How trash it is. Oh, it was yucky. Anyway, so I didn't watch that whole movie, so I'm not giving it an award. But I would like to say that it sucks butts. The worst movie... Which I still had a little bit of fun watching this year was The Meg Two, <laughs> which you didn't see, <laughs> no, I but didn't I went see and saw. <laughs> and let me just tell you one quick thing: spoiler alert: Jason Statham stabs a megalodon with the propeller of a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mean, if that's that he not, can lift by himself. If that's not Sharknado <laughs> stuff, then I don't know what is. But it was a pretty bad movie. It was definitely the worst movie made this year, if we're not counting The Flash. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah. It, yeah. Was, it was pretty bad. So if I'm going, I have my worst one that I watched this year wasn't technically released this year. Okay. So I'm going to say my worst one would be FNAF. Okay. okay. Just because it's for this year. We've already talked about it. But my actual worst movie that I saw this year is this movie called Hunter Hunter. So bad you say it oh. twice. <laughs> yeah, I remember you telling me about this movie. And it is... Didn't it have like a $47,000 budget? I don't even know, you dude. Even it it, it, it might not have, even be on Google. It couldn't have had much. No, it's got like a bunch of ratings. Like a oh, lot of okay. people have seen this. But one of the most pointless dumb movies I have ever seen. They focus on this fox all the time, and the fox has nothing to do with the rest of the show. So I don't know why the fox is in there. For the viewers, Craig one time went on a trip, and he came back, and all he could say was how bad this movie was. <laughs> I could tell it was the only thing on his mind, and it was really funny. It's so bad. <laughs> Basically, this, this, this husband and wife and their kid live in this cabin, and the husband goes to get, like, food because they, mm -hmm. like, live in this cabin, right? Like, they're in the wild. And he goes to get food, and he doesn't come back. So the whole time, the wife's like, where is he? Trying to find him. She has the daughter. And then all of a sudden, this guy just comes out of nowhere, and he's super hurt. And I guess if if you don't want spoilers for Hunter Hunter, then skip ahead. <laughs> but... <laughs> If you really want to, if you're go worried see about it. that, get a life. Yeah. <laughs> and this random guy who's hurt comes up, and she's like, "Oh, you know, let me help you," because he had like his leg broken or something like that, and takes him in, and you know, basically like heals him and everything like that, like you know, gives him medicine and and food and all that kind of stuff, and he turns out that he's this random guy who you don't know that killed the dad for whatever reason. I'm not sure. I think maybe he was like some kind of weird serial killer or something like that. Mm -hmm. And he kills the daughter that the of the mom. And the mom like is all tied up and stuff and he like gets free, goes into the room, sees the daughter just totally dead on the bed and basically just snaps and... Ties this guy up, brings him to the back in their barn, and skins him alive. Yikes. Which was pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> and then the police come, and the movie ends. <laughs> That's it. That's like, really I dumb. <laughs> and there's a fox. I don't know what the fox is about, but there's a fox. So, that sounds horrible. That I'm was very that movie. excited not to ever watch that <laughs> <laughs> ever ever. <laughs> oh man. Anyways. Okay. All right. Do you want to jump we, into Yeah, shall we move on to our best the movie? The movie of the year. The movie of the year. Okay. <sighs> Do you want to go first? Do you yeah. want me to go first? No, I can go first. Okay, Craig. What's your movie of the year? Change and roll. Spider-Verse. Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Everything about that movie was perfect to me. There was one story plot, a certain thing with Miguel that kind of didn't quite line up with everything else. But other than that, it was just, oh, awesome. It was yeah. incredible visuals, story. Acting was amazing. The score, probably my favorite soundtrack of the year with freaking yeah. Universe 2099. That was a great soundtrack. Oh my gosh, it was so good. So, everything about it. That's, that's, that was my no-brainer of all the movies we watched. I was like, yep, Spider-Verse is going to be number one. Yeah. Which is why I didn't put it as best superhero that, movie. Because, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. So, well, I'm going to go against your rules, Craig. 
The movie of the year goes to Barbie. <laughs> Straight up. I'm double awarding Barbie. Both the funniest movie and the friggin' best movie this year. Okay. Let me explain. Okay. Okay. Not only is Barbie a, a comedic masterpiece, <laughs> no movie that I can think of has ever been so subtly genius mm. about the messaging that it portrays. People mm-hmm. who look at Barbie super on the surface think it's like a man-hater movie or whatever, blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah, political agenda. There's so many lines in that movie that prove that that's false, first of all, because it's so, it pokes so much fun at, at everything. Right. It's one of those things where it's like, if you watch it like super unbiased, it's just like everybody's an idiot. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Let me just read you some quotes real <laughs> quick. Okay. <laughs> So they go up to the construction workers, Barbie and Ken. And Barbie's really excited to see a group of female construction workers. And it's dudes. And they're all gross. Okay. And Barbie goes, for your information, we don't have genitals. And she starts walking away. And Ken goes, I have all the genitals. I have all the genitals. (laughs) That's great. I don't know who wrote that, but congratulations. Um, Shredding waves is much more dangerous than people realize. It's great. Um, Horses are just men extenders. Mm Mm-hmm. I mean, that's freaking great. And then uh, one of the best quotes of all time, when Weird Barbie says, I'd like to see what nude blob he's packing under those jeans. <laughs> Weird Barbie is that's, the perfect she character. She was the best. Where she says, you can choose, what does she say? <laughs> yeah, there's like, a, there's a shoe and like... There's a sh- there's a heel and a Birkenstock. Yeah. <laughs> and, she, and she says, you can choose between one or the other. And she's like, I choose I choose the heel, basically. And she's like, no. No. Choose again. <laughs> I just wanted you to feel like you were having something. <laughs> and then the quote, it's it's like I've been in, in a dream where I was really heavily invested in the Zack Snyder cut of the Justice League. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. And it, what's so great is y- you can watch it from so many different perspectives. And depending on where you're at in your life and what kind of things you've been dealing with either on a personal basis or in a group or whatever, you can find some way to be like, oh my gosh, it's a metaphor for this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it works. It always works. It works in like every situation. Yeah. It's so cool. And so I've watched it a few times. It is a legitimately great movie. I haven't seen it's, it since we saw it in theaters. It's, it's almost infinitely clever. Mm-hmm. And the more you try to watch it from a different perspective, the more it, fun it is. <laughs> it's insane. It's an insane movie. Oh, even just um, the freaking lyrics of I'm just Ken. Yeah. And then one of the greatest closing lines of all time. See the man behind here, the tan. Here to see her gynecologist. <laughs> yeah, the man behind the tan. <laughs> um, so, I mean, yeah, it's it's, it's okay. great. That's my best. Can we talk about some honorable mentions? Yes. Real quick. Um, where is it? Extraction Two is a great, oh, so good action movie. So good. Maybe depending on how you know these awards will go differently each year depending on how many movies we see. Mm-hmm. If we watch everything, you know, maybe we'll end up having an action movie category. Easily would have won the action movie um, category. Would have won for sure. Yeah. Um, honorable mention: Murder Mystery Two. That movie sucked. Pretty bad. Oh yeah, I mean, we didn't even get through it. It was so bad. It was pretty bad. The Murder first Mystery one was one, great. Pretty good. Yeah, I watched the whole second one. Obviously, decent parts, but yeah, pretty bad. We never made it through the second one. Did the second Knives Out come out this year? E- no, that no, was that last was. year because okay. that was your sucked, most overrated. Oh okay. Oh wait, that's right. Yeah. Um, honorable mentions. I'm trying to think. Yeah. And Mario. I mean, Mario I didn't put great. Mario anywhere, but I loved that movie. I know it's funny. You gave it a nine point nine. And it's yeah. nowhere in the awards. But I gave it a 9.9, and it was only an honorable mention for funniest. I do feel like, here's the thing, Craig. <laughs> I need to say something about a movie that you haven't seen. Oh. But I have to say it. Okay. So it'll it'll slightly spoil our um, podcast about this movie, but... Rebel Moon? Rebel Moon was not very good. Okay. That movie... Fell really flat. I it was, had some really cool parts. Like, I was kind of expecting that. It had like 10 second clips that are like, whoa, this is sick. And then it was like, oh, this is kind of lame. So basically the Disney trilogy of Star Wars. Uh, this there was, was There were some 10 second clips that were really no, cool. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm just like, was this that good? Oh. Um, it's diff- They're so different. I can't compare yeah. them. 
Yeah. Actually, which is shocking because I was like, oh, it's going to be like Star Wars. It's not. Well, if you watch the Snyder Cut, I bet it's better. I'm going to watch the Snyder Cut. And I really hope that they show some of the stuff that I'm mad they shied away from. And then as far as uh, biopics go, is it a biopic or a bio? It's not biopic. It's biopic. Blackberry was phenomenal. Oh, yeah. I remember you telling so me about good. that. Blackberry I loved. Very, very intriguing and informational and well done. Hmm. And I loved it. Okay. So, Also, Shazam 2 came out this year. I did like that Honorable movie, mention. Yeah. It exists. It's actually pretty decent the and Skittles. got way too much hate. Honestly. The Skittles are the best. If we had to go, if we had to do underrated based off of what people say, I would say Shazam too. Because everyone's like, that movie sucks. I'm yeah. Like, it actually doesn't. Like, no. That's not great. I just think Redfield was better. Yeah. Oh, no, for sure. But Shazam 2 was, was actually pretty funny. But yeah, Shazam 2 was funny. Yeah. Yeah. And Family Switch sucked. <laughs> and Mando 3 sucked. And yeah, I need to watch The Mandalorian. Also, shout out to Black Mirror. Did that come out this year? Yeah. Yeah. Did bro. you watch it? Black Mirror season whatever it was. Was it good? Oh, yeah. I haven't I seen... I watched that thing right when it came out. I haven't out. seen any Black Mirror yet. <laughs> Craig? I know, I know. Honestly, it'll... Knowing I, you, it'll probably become it. one of your favorite shows of all time. I've never not wanted to watch it. I've just never watched it. And it's good because you can just watch it like you can watch it's an anthology. Mm -hmm. Every episode is different. Nothing's connected except for like there's a song that plays every once in a while just in the background just to be like, hey, this is the same show, but nothing's connected at mm -hmm. all. So you can watch an episode and then forget about it for four years and then watch another episode. You won't be confused because yeah. nothing's Yeah, that's what I've heard. Combined. So <laughs> it's great. Just I'd skip the first episode if I were you. But go for I watched that. I Think You Should Leave season three. What? Okay. Walk me through that experience because I'm in a family where I have been disowned because every single one of my siblings thinks that that's the greatest show ever made of all time in the world. Okay, no. And I, they, they do this thing where the first four minutes of the sketch is hilarious, hilarious. and then they drag it on for 15 more minutes. Yeah. And it's, it's excruciating. So season one, or is it season three or season two? I think it was season three. Season one was really, really good. I think there was a lot of funny parts in it. There are some funny. There's some majority funny of the skits one. were really good. Yeah. Season two, in some ways, had better skits, and in other ways, mm -hmm. had really dumb skits. Season three, I laughed twice. Okay. And I did the rest watch. Of it was so forgettable. I did watch a large portion of where he goes through the drive-through. That is. That one's funny. Amazing. That one's really good. And so I don't know if funny. I've seen the whole thing because I'll bet you anything that I saw the funny part and then there's like 18 more minutes. No. Oh, okay. No, that skit ends okay. pretty much almost right after. Because one of the funniest skits, I think I think I only ever watched like the first three or four episodes of season one. Yeah. Not, yeah, I think in full. The the one for me, honestly, the one where he's at the birthday party and he asks if the guy really likes his gift. Yeah, and the guy's yeah, like, yeah, and he's yeah, like, okay, eat, eat the, the gift receipt. receipt. Yeah. That's hilarious, and then it, was, and then it goes so long after that. Oh, see, I think that one, but that one kept so still funny. being funny. Okay, maybe I need to go back. I'm going to give it another shot because people are mad at me. The, the baby awards. What am I? I don't know if I saw the oh, baby awards. My gosh. So I I, I so do need funny. to watch it, but he, it's just or the Instagram tweets. It's oh, a lot for me, gosh. and I do try to keep so my sense of humor very open. Yeah, I, because see, it is a lot a really pretty immature sense of humor in, oh, a yeah. in a lot of times in a clever way kind of very cringy too. but really cringy and I'm, I try to keep a very open mind with stuff like that yeah but that that sometimes is real hard to watch yeah I there was the phone one in season three which I think is like the first skit was pretty funny the mm -hmm. drive through one was pretty funny and that's all I remember okay so I remember a lot of season one and season two. Season three wasn't that great. Yeah. Had some funny parts, but overall I haven't loved every skit in any season. Yeah. They're all they're all some that fall a little bit dumb. Like when he crashes into the building and he's like wearing a hot dog costume and they're trying to figure out who crashed in the building and he's like, Well, obviously it was you. You wear the hot dog costume. That one goes on for forever and it's not that funny. Yeah. So but he's a funny dude. He like, is a funny dude. And his expressions that he can do are insane. Well, I think the whole 
I don't know if I'm wrong about this. Isn't the whole kind of premise that these are all rejected SNL skits? Yes. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, it's going to be pretty hit or miss. <laughs> but SNL is not really that funny anymore. SNL anyway. is hit or miss. So. SNL is hit or miss, right? There's some <laughs> phenomenal stuff on SNL. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Okay. What was your favorite podcast moment? Of the year. My favorite podcast moment, the only thing I can really, like, I try to think of other stuff and it always goes back to when I couldn't get through the freaking meatball scene <laughs> in The Wedding Singer. I have not laughed that hard, like, not watching something ever. I don't, it was so funny. It just, and I didn't laugh that hard when I saw it. No. I laughed that hard when I talked about Dude, it. you were dying. I was dying. If you guys, honestly, if you guys want to go listen to it, Wedding Singer is pretty early on. Yeah. Go back, episode. This is a great episode. It's a good episode. It's a good listen. Even if you haven't seen The Wedding Singer, I mean, we'll, we'll walk you through it. <laughs> um, when was Wedding Singer? Uh, episode eight. Yeah. It's so this is a minute ago. This is February of last year. Yeah. February of last year. Uh, probably about 30 minutes in. What? And I just lose it. What? That moment. I think no, it's about 30 minutes singing? into the episode. That song. I said it was February of last year, and then I was started singing the killer song. Somebody told me that you oh. had a boyfriend that looked like a girlfriend that I had in February, I forgot it was February. of last year. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so. I got potential. Yeah, that was, I, I think that was my was favorite, around. my favorite podcast. Dude, it has there. to be the Orbs. For you, is the orbs? It's for me, it's Bro, the orbs. we've had a lot of conversations about orbs recently, and I think we all came to the exclusive, the uh, the anonymous, the unanimous decision that Sam is that still insane. Orbs are better than boxes. <laughs> you find it me? It wasn't about orbs versus boxes, though. <laughs> It it's like it's like orbs. what Michael Scott says. You give me a white person you trust, I'll give you a black person I trust more. Find me a cool box, I'll find you a cooler. <laughs> it's not orb. about boxes versus orbs. It's just it why is about, are orbs. There's only two. Uh, the only other option is a pyramid, and those are so few and far between. You can't really judge it the same. Shut up, <laughs> dude, dude. Orbs, orbs. Honestly, when we talk about orbs, that is oh, funny. That I mean, it really. I is. loved it because it was so real. It's you so, know. I, I was I being mean, so of our, genuine. All of our episodes. I didn't are real know I would get we don't so laughed at. It, so uh, episode forty-one, Ahsoka, <laughs> Ahsoka. We talk about orbs. Uh, it's oh, very exciting. Man. Very, very exciting. We talk about how you've got your tooth. Yeah. Pulled out. Yeah. Uh, okay. So can we really quick before we wrap this yeah. this guy up? Uh, what are you excited for for twenty twenty four? What movies are you looking forward to? Deadpool three. Deadpool three is a big one. Big one. That's that's an opening kind of. I will clear my schedule for movie. Like I will legitimately. We should take the afternoon off of work and go watch that. I movie. will sacrifice my if second it, born for that movie. <laughs> Wait, is Lily your second born? Lily's, yeah, second okay. born. Uh, yeah, run. If, you can, if you're <laughs> listening to this podcast, first of all, go to bed. Just second of all, joking. Run. I'm just joking. Yeah, Craig would never probably definitely not do that. No, I wouldn't. Um, as much as I hate well, Literally, kids, I, I will them. take time off of work and I'll go to the two o'clock showing. Oh my gosh. PTO, baby. Yeah, dude. You get like, I, you get like might... seven days of PTO a week, so I think you can afford it. I don't think it's that much. <laughs> um, I got two a month. <laughs> okay, fine. It's the same. Uh, I'm really excited. With, this is so weird to me. I'm super excited for Dune Part 2. And I did not care for Dune Part 1. But it's just so cool to look so, at. Like, I, honestly, I could turn the sound off of Dune and just be like... Because <laughs> it's cool. It's it looks so great. Cool looking. Honestly, Dune is up there with the creator as far as visuals. Dune might be better. Dune is is um, really close to perfect visually. There's yeah. some stuff that maybe is not as good as the creator. Well, I would almost say the creator has more, though. I'd have to watch. I'm going to watch them both. I yeah. really will watch Dune again. I just cannot follow that crap. Too many names. So can I tell you something? I was actually very excited about Dune Part 2. And then you l listen to the book. And then I've been forced to listen to this book. Uh, shout out Jesse, um, who graciously gifted gifted me the book so that I could listen to it before Dune Part 2 came out because I hated the first part so mm. much. I am three hours away from being finished, and I am still bored. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, so, okay. We'll see how it ends. I might be not excited to watch the second part. Of That's anymore. fair. <laughs> I'll still watch it, but... Uh, I'll still watch it because we're going to have to watch it. Okay, Beyond Craig. the Spider-Verse, easily 
probably my Deadpool three is my number one. Yeah, hundred okay. percent. Right below it is Beyond the Spider Verse. Right below that is Mission Impossible Seven Part Two. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna do a new, a some new segment poop and then Dune Part Two. You ready? Some poop. <laughs> you ready for a new segment? We're oh. gonna do a speed a speed round. Okay. Okay. We're gonna we'll both do our numbers, but I'll I'll be reading these. Okay? Fifty two. Even if you haven't s- even heard of the movie, I'm gonna read you the kind of the big things that are coming out okay, this year. Okay. Yes. And no. you're gonna give me your hype level on a scale from one to ten. Oh, okay. 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 <clears throat> We're gonna start in February with a movie that I actually am relatively excited for. So we'll see what happens. Argyle. Argyle. Nine. Okay. I might like a seven because I'm really unsure. Uh, let's see. Boom. Ba dum. Ba dum. Ba dum. Ba dum. Bob Marley. One love. Uh, three? Two. Madam Web. Oh, one. One. Um, <laughs> Dune, part two. Five. Seven and a half. Um, Arthur the King. Like, I don't know. Oh. I have no idea. A six? It sounds like Napoleon. So yeah, maybe a six. A six. I have yeah. seen yeah, okay. Napoleon though. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Oh, four. One. I haven't seen a Ghostbusters movie since 1984. <laughs> Godzilla vs. Kong the New Empire. Eight. Nine. I really want to see another Godzilla <laughs> It's going to be Godzilla so movie. dumb. Kung Fu Panda. Oh, that's a nine. Ten. I love Kung Fu Panda. The third They're one all was... good. Third, I love the third one has one of the most touching moments ever. Yes. What does he say? What is it? This is what does his dad say? It's like I know this is gonna I sound know. dumb. I can't remember what no. he says, but his dad says one of the things that has stuck with me so much. Yeah. <laughs> but I can't remember what it is. The second villain was just so good. Yeah, that's true. Anyways, okay, keep going. Okay. Uh Challengers. Five? I don't know what One? is that. I don't know. <laughs> Civil War. Oh, seven. What is Civil War? I've I seen a trailer for that. I've seen it too, but what is it? It's 824, so it's probably going to be trash. Okay, five. <laughs> uh, the Fall Guy. Oh, that's a nine. Yeah, same. Nine. Um, you love A24. I like one A24 movie, but I just think they're great. No, sorry, two. I like everything I've ever wore once and Marcel the Shell. And I really haven't seen anything else. Oh, yeah, that's true. But everything else I've heard actually is pretty bad. It's so, so bad. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Um, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Okay, so... I haven't seen Planet of the Apes ever. Oh, see, I've seen the first one that had um, James Franco in it. Okay. But I never saw the second and third. But okay. I've heard they're good, so I'll say a solid six. I need to watch them, but I'll give that a six. Yeah. Um, if... The Imaginary Friends movie Ooh, by John Krasinski. An eight. I'm going to give it a nine. I'm okay. actually very excited for it. Me too. Uh, um, the Garfield movie. Chris Pratt, three. Probably four for me. Yeah. Um, Maybe a two just because it's Chris Pratt. Pixar's Inside Out, two. I want to put that as a ten. I know, but you're scared. But I'm scared. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cautious ten. It's a very, very cautious That's ten. That's where I'm at because Inside Out, one, was one of my favorite theater experiences that I've had. So. Is, if it's old Pixar, ten. If it's new Pixar, a zero. This isn't real, is it? A Quiet Place, day one? Yeah. Not John Krasinski. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Michael Sarnowski. But John Krasinski wrote it. Yeah. He's just not directing. Yeah. I'm oh, I'm going to give that a nine. <sighs> Five. Oh, wow. You're pretty mad. Okay. Yeah. Despicable Me, four. <laughs> Getting out of here. I only hand. care of three, so I'll give that a four. <laughs> okay, I'll give it a I'll give it a five. <laughs> what about, um? you ever heard of uh, Deadpool 3? Uh, I give that a zero. Okay, yeah, same. Um, um, actually, if I can give that a number, I'm giving it an actual 11. Okay, six, same. I'm, that's, I'm so excited for that. I love Deadpool. And Wolverine, Hugh Jackman. Oh, Alien, Romulus. Seven. Okay, I mean, cool. Oh, Alien, wow. Sure, yeah. Okay, I'll give it a two. I don't care about Alien. Oh. Uh, Craven the Hunter slash Craven the Animal Rights Activist. Zero. <laughs> yeah, I cannot imagine like that. <laughs> Beetlejuice, two. Two. One. Transformers, one. No, you can't call it that. A one. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? An origin story set on Cybertron. Oh. Are they doing the Xbox Come thing on. where they give movies the... Come you can't on. give it the name. That doesn't work. Get rid I, of a Transformers. I'm giving it a three because I do like watching Transformers. Um, no, nope, not the Saw, newest stuff. What is this, 11? Saw 11. Mm, I'd give that a seven. I'll give it a one. Dude, Saw's great. Joker, <laughs> the musical. <sighs> 
without Lady Gaga, I would give that a solid 10 because I loved the first one. Wow. With Lady Gaga, I'm going to give that a solid 4. Okay. Because I think it's going to be... It's going to be trash. Terrible. I'm going to give it a 2. Okay. Um, Venom 3. Mm. Two was so bad. Five. Two was so bad. Okay, I'll give it a two. Gladiator two. Like you haven't heard of you? Have you heard like, of Gladiator two? Yeah. Like sequel. Yeah. 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 Like anybody returning? Uh, I believe Russell Crowe is returning, okay. and it is directed by Ridley Scott. But he's not going to be the Gladiator. I believe there is a new one. Mm, I don't know. I'm very worried about it. Six. I don't think it's a good idea. I will also give it a six. But I don't think it's a good idea. I'm not very excited about it. Incredibles 3. Oh, you hold on. These might be rumored, by the way. Okay. This is just a Next li- I mean, year? This is November of this year. So I'm kind of doubting it, but you never know. Okay, I mean, I'll give it a 10, dude. I mean, yeah. Well, the second I, one was amazing. The second one was amazing. I'll give it a 10. Lord of the Rings. Uh, the War of R- Rohirrim. Is this another Amazon series? I don't know. I don't know. What's your number? It's the untold story behind Helm's Deep. If it's not Helm's Deep, then I don't really care. Yeah. I'll give it a three. Yeah, I was going to give it a three also. What about Mufasa? The Lion King. Disney? Yeah, it's a story about Mufasa. I believe it's live Two? action. Oh, live action? One. Yeah, gross. Uh, I didn't care about the live action Lion King. So I'll I never give it a saw one. it. What about Sonic the Hedgehog 3? Uh, I give it a seven. I also will give it, well, yeah, I loved the first one and never saw the second one. I never it's got good. around to it. First one's I'll, I'll give it a seven. Yeah. Six and a half. Yeah. What about Karate Kid? No. It's Jaden Smith again. Oh, just zero. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. He's like 50 <laughs> now. I don't know. I mean, There's he nothing. didn't do too bad. It in just said plot kid. under wraps. That's all it says. Okay. Okay. Well, that's, that's okay, our guys right now. What's your hype level about Harry Potter series? Dude, that is a very cautious, like, nine. Because part of me feels similarly to, like, the original six Star Wars movies where it's like, please don't touch it, you know? But then I'm like, but if it's done right, then it'll be great. But is anything done right anymore that's no. a remake? No. no. So I have nothing that tells me that this could be great. No. Can you think of one remake of any sort that is modern, right? And probably in the last five to ten years, that's phenomenal uh the jungle book okay i really enjoyed that okay fair i don't like the new one as much as the old one but i don't really care for the old one i don't really either so so i like this one even so less. i really like the new one yeah um yes i know there are some but i can't yeah i I'm can't think of them of like no, nothing does it justice. Like, there are some sequels that do justice. Incredibles 2 came out way after and did great. It was great. Yeah, I mean, if we're going just sequels, 22 Jump Street is yeah. just as good as the first one. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, <laughs> but, and that's technically a remake, in a way. Yeah. Yeah. But some remakes of really, really old stuff is fine. Yeah, but, but when but, you want to remake Princess Bride... Oh, no. Are yeah. they doing that? Oh, yeah. Oh, don't touch that. Oh, yeah. That's not going to Oh, go. they're touching all of it. Princess Bride is a perfect movie. It is a perfect movie. There's nothing wrong with it. There's not one thing wrong with it. The pit of despair. I love... Conceivable. <laughs> oh, Princess Bride. So here's my thing about the Harry Potter TV series. Okay. I've read all the books. Mm-hmm. And I've read all the books a few times. And I've read all of the movies with my eyes. Yes. And there's a lot of stuff in the books that's not in the movies that I think would be really cool. And I think with a TV series, that could be done very, very well. But it won't be. (laughs) Here's my problem. It's already been done live action. And it was... To me, those are perfect in almost every single way. So I think a TV series could be one of the greatest ideas if it should be animated. Yes, sir. Yeah. So my hype level is at a zero... Because I think it's just going to be, I don't even know if it'll be good. Yeah. But if it was, Harry Potter would be so cool animated. Because you can make everything be. Perf- perfect. It would be. Flying would look amazing. The dragons would I look would amazing. I love that. Right? What kind of animation style would you want? I, 
so I just recently watched an an anime an anime show this year called mm-hmm. Trigun Stampede. Okay. And they did a 3D anime style okay. that was really cool looking. Cool. I would like that. Cool. I was thinking something similar to the Clone Wars, but maybe a little less like janky. Yeah. The yeah, they the Clone Wars has kind it's of It's kind a, of on purpose. It's it's yeah. kind of clunky. Yeah. Um I want Polar so Express animation. <laughs> Can you imagine? The most uncanny valley Harry Potter you could like, ever get. What's some of the best human kind of 3D animation that's not really... Um, not like Pixar? Yeah, what is that called? Like 3D animation. 3D animation that's not really um, stylized, right? That's more normal-ish, right? Because Pixar is like big eyes and big face and stuff. And, and DreamWorks is kind of the same. Is there, uh, what's like a good animation movie that's 3D? Or show? Well, I mean, I would say some of... Some of... Um, well, no, I guess they're all kind of cartoonish. Because like like Lightyear like, they looked yeah. very okay. human-ish. Something like still that. Ca- still cartoonish. That's kind of between realistic and cartoonish. Like right. I think somewhere in there because they I think they if they're going to do an animated series, I think they still need to keep the grit. Yes. Of Harry Potter. You oh, can't, yeah. They can't make it for kids No, no, kids no, 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 care. no. No. Adults are going to care a lot. Right. To make but anim, I mean animation for adults is great. Oh yeah. When they do it right. So it could be cool. Mm. It could be cool. I would love for them to do a book a season. That would be so cool. You didn't put, you didn't uh, Mission Impossible 7 or Spider-Verse was on your list there. No, it wasn't. Yeah. What's your hype level for Mission Impossible? Ten for seven? both. For both? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was just one list. Spider-Verse might be a ten and a half. I don't even know when this list was made. Watch this list be made of like February of 2021. <laughs> Dude, I need more spot, bro. And I need Nicolas Cage back. I need Nicolas Cage back. <laughs> you need him. You need him so bad. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just real quick. Is this an easy... Oh, man, Mean Girls. Those screw those mean might girls. be because they don't have an actual release date. Maybe. Okay, here's Doom Part 2, Ghostbusters, Civil War, Fall Guy. Hey, who are you going to call? Mad Max. Okay, Fury Road was amazing. I don't know who's directing this. What about the movie T- Twisters? It says, what's scarier than a tornado? Two tornadoes. <laughs> many, many tornadoes. <laughs> Is that what it says? <laughs> I mean, it's just this website, yeah. but it's as Okay, did you see Twister? I love Twister. Okay. It's terrifying. So, this is billed as an update of the 1996 Twister. That's another remake I really don't think should happen. <laughs> but it could be good. <laughs> Twister's fun, and it's very scary. It yeah. scared me as a kid, but Twister's I also great. was literally in a tornado when I was a kid, so maybe that's why. I had a tornado come next to me. Just, just kind of said hello. Just right here. Just, yeah. Just on your lap. We hit we hit in our, our bathtub. We hit in our crawl space once and in a church for the other one. But it didn't actually fun. like hit us at all. The t- tornado, if I'm remembering correctly, literally went over the top of our church building. Nice. And it destroyed stuff. It was crazy. Nice. No tornadoes in Utah. Too many mountains apparently. <laughs> no, mine was in California. California? No, New, not tornadoes New Jersey. New Jersey? Are there tornadoes in New Jersey? I think so. I thought tornadoes were only like in the Midwest. No. Didn't you live in Ohio or something? No. You never lived in the Midwest anymore? No, I was Connecticut, Pennsylvania, Arkansas, New Jersey, and then California, and then Utah. You lived in more states than I did. Yeah. Mine was in Colorado. I mean, All that the tornadoes was... I've seen were in Colorado, actually. Up until California, I was like... Four years old, so they're all very oh, quick. That makes sense. And then I moved to Utah when it's eight, so oh, I don't remember a ton. I just remember there was a tornado. I don't remember where it was. One of those states. Yeah, mm, tornadoes are fun. Yeah, very scary. Well, folks. Okay. Thanks for coming to our award show this year. Yeah. Do you want to give a speech? Let's go, Brandon. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a good Get one. <laughs> um, my speech is. Uh, I'd like to thank the Academy. Obviously. Which is us. Yeah. I'd like to thank 
Um, everybody who has supported the podcast. Yeah. Um, everybody that subscribed. I'd like to thank anybody who's listened to the podcast. I'd like to thank yeah. the people who make the movies. Some of them. Some of them. Yeah. Some of them can go to hell. So- <laughs> uh, but I'd like to thank the movies. Doug is trash. Doug is trash. You brought me dog. <laughs> Doug is trash. I'd like to thank Nick Cage for always giving the performance oh, of a lifetime. Nick Cage. And uh, I like to thank Nintendo for allowing somebody to make a Mario movie. Yeah. Thank you, <laughs> Mr. Nintendo Tamagotchi. Um, Tamagotchi? What's his Tamagotchi. name? Tamagotchi. Nintendo Tamagotchi. <laughs> uh, and I'd like to thank, first of all, I'd like to thank me. <laughs> Is that, isn't that 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 Snoop Dogg speech? Have you ever heard that? Oh, no. First of all, I'd like to thank me for believing in me. It's really funny. Uh, okay, well, that's... I'd like to thank the guy that gave me Twinkies through two of our episodes. I got you, bro. <laughs> that were just leftovers from the... I got you. From the, like, first I think episode. I gave Craig an expired Twinkie, you guys. Oh, no, he's dead. Oh, uh, uh, what a year. Here's to another... Here's to another. Can't wait. For, well, I can't wait till 2025 when we do the 2024 awards. Let's see. Uh, let's see how many more YouTubers quit this year. So, yeah, they're all quitting. Yeah. Why are they all quitting? I. It's a publicity stunt. No, it's a. I've been working for 10 years as a video editor, and I've made bajillions of dollars. So mm. I'm gonna retire now. I like that. Give some space for the newbies. For me. For us. Yeah, but most of them are still going with other people. Yeah, dang it. We're never going to make it. So, Also, if you're not watching this on YouTube, what are you doing? We're so fun to watch. Yeah, we, got, we are. We got neckties on. <laughs> neckties. Neckties. What's Woo! up? Okay. Neckties for real. I like to sh- I like to thank the necktie. I like for to thank the necktie industry for existing for thousands of years. Nice and warm. Keep my neck tied. All right, Alrighty. Mr. Craig, bring us home. Oh my gosh. Because I said the bad word last time. <laughs> I was editing that and Courtney goes, wait, why do you keep saying titties? <laughs> she's like one time, like, she's like one week you're like, Barbie is so empowering for women. And the next week you're just like, titties. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. It just happened. Oh, make it a good one. Dang it. I, I I have an idea, but it's not going to work. For those of you who don't know, Reaction Time is not the name of the podcast, technically. It is an acronym for what the podcast is actually called. Right. Which is what, Craig? Oh, dang it. He doesn't have to think about it. He actually knows. He's just forgot. No, I... What is it called, Craig? No, I was going <laughs> to try and do all movies that were released this year. Oh, my gosh. And there's a good amount of them because I could do Renfield, but there's no E. Everywhere, everything, everywhere. everything, ever, all at once. Ant Man Three, <laughs> Creator, <laughs> the Creator, <laughs> the Creator, <laughs> That's cheating. the Last of Us. <laughs> Everything's the. Uh, okay. Indiana Jones 5. We didn't even talk about how bad that movie probably was. We didn't see it, though. Okay. This has been the episode of Renfield Elevates All Characters. All All Cages. Yeah, all Cages. (laughs) (laughs) Oh... Time is orbs. Now, <laughs> tacos <laughs> insist many <laughs> elevators. <laughs> Greg only knows one E word. It's elevate, and he can do a lot of things. Elevate, elevates, elevator, elevated. <laughs> elephant. An elephant. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Um, Let's have an adult 2024. Let's have a dope 2024. Oh, movies. We're going to watch every movie ever released. I'm going to quit my job. I'm going to watch movies. Okay. Me too. Get paid. You heard it here first. So subscribe so we can quit subscribe. our jobs. Thank you. See, um, see, you by, see you later. Bye.
Bye.